you went to the point of your mother posting pictures of these children, correct? In 2012, we have your mother's Facebook account where your mother's posting pictures of her grandchildren and bragging on how wonderful they are. My mom's not alive. Well, your mother died in 2009, mm -hmm. but you're posting pictures on her behalf in 2012. I mean, there's her tombstone. She died in 2009. We've done our homework here. We know the truth. The important thing is for you to own the truth. You cannot move on if you don't own the truth, all of the truth. Your mother died in 2009. You're posting pictures on her website in 2012, three years after she deceased. Now, if I've got a picture of her tombstone up here, you, you got to figure I've done my homework. Why are there no birth records of your twins? There are no birth records because you didn't have them. Correct? You said you don't want me to get in trouble, right? What? You said you don't want me to get in trouble, right? You just I don't want, want you to this get in to trouble. Stop and... No, I want this to stop. They don't want to prosecute you. They want you to go away. They don't want you to be part of their life. They don't want to get in. They want this to stop here. Do you feel that way? Well, I'll, I'll tell you something that I'm really concerned about. As you know, I have a headband and embroidery making boutique online. And there was one photo that I have seen that you have shared on your Facebook page of my daughter, Sophie. And it's a giveaway. I do a giveaway every month on my page. And it was a big wrap for Christmas time. The only place that I have posted that photo is on my boutique page. Never posted on his Facebook, never posted it on my Facebook. And that picture was shared on your social media site. So my daughter and I, my oldest daughter that's 17, we went through my entire boutique page, looked for your name, searched it. You're not on my boutique page. So my concern is, I know that you've had lots of different Facebook pages out there. You're under an alias name, is what I truly believe, and you stalk me out on my boutique page, and you're following along with my life on there because you know I post photos of my girls on there modeling things that they have been made that have been made for them or head wraps. You're still there. You're snaking your way in and watching what I post because I know that one photo is only on that page. There's no other way you could have gotten it. I. I'm going to be honest. I've gone on your page as my name, but I haven't liked it. I haven't commented. I haven't. I'm being honest here. You know. So that picture you saw off my page then? you remember that picture of her at Christmas time? I think I know which one you're talking about, yes. Why do you ask me, why are you confirming that I don't want you to get in trouble? Because you said that, and I want to make sure that that's really what... Yes, I will confirm that to you straight, look you straight in the eye and tell you. If you're straight with me, then I want this to end here. If you're not, I am your worst nightmare. Then let's end it here. Then let's end it here. Tell the truth, because I'm going to protect these people. These people came to me. Listen, I don't take it lightly when people reach out to me with their family. I take it very seriously when people come to me and say, my family is at risk. My children are at risk. Dr. Phil, help me. They could have gone a thousand different places, and they came to me, and by God, I take that seriously, and I will charge the machine gun nest for them. Once I answer that letter, I am in, and I will stand in the gap for this family. And if you're still lying then they now have me on their team and every resource at my command. All I want is to end this here. And when you leave here, I want not to condemn you. I want not to intimidate you. I want to help you. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.